What's up, y'all? It's your boy P. Lot, aka the Brick Sling. And guess what? Your boy got something to say. As you can tell, I'm driving, but as long as you can hear my voice, that's all that matters. It's cool. Now, last video I put out dealing with ministry versus industry, I was speaking on about how Ernest Pugh had his view when it came to the this year's Stella Awards. Now, I'm doing, a, doing another one because I just found something very interesting when I was talking to my wife. Or better yet, I had to, I had to realize there were some things I didn't mention on the, set, on the previous video that I probably will mention on this one. So, just rock with me for, for a second. Now, if, if you haven't known that, you know, Ernest Pugh spoke his piece on, on Twitter... Or um, on so he basically spoke his piece on social media, letting it be known that the writing is on the wall and a, a new era has is about to arrive and the old era is about to decline. Now check this interview that he had with Larry Reed, and I can understand where he was coming from. I could, I can understand where he was coming from because this year. There, it, it, it seems as if the, the, the Stella Award, the production of it, was close to a BET Award, a BET Hip Hop Award, or practically any secular uh, award show. Close to it. I mean, they they didn't have no extra this, that, and the third, but it was close enough. The quality was on point. You know, everybody want to be dressed up and dressed up and all that stuff. But that's not the big deal. The thing of it is, when I was checking out this interview, I noticed one thing. My dude Ernest was so focused on the award show that there was a lot of stuff that was that usually be the case in the Stella Award that wasn't the case this time. Now, usually, the Stella Awards will, will focus on gospel music, period. The choirs, the quartets, the singers, you know, that type of stuff. Even the songwriters and producers. And every now and then, they'll let, you know, some Christian hip-hop get displayed. But remember I tell you, there was like four so far in the past ten years. And yet, the only one that still... Still becoming like a tattoo in our brains is the one with the truth, Lecrae, and Kenny Jones. Like we're still talking about this to this day, even though Aaron Cole did his thing. Also noticed that Erica Mason was on there. She's a dope MC. A real dope MC. In fact, I I, I opened up for her when she came to St. Louis. When doing a running out demons concert, shout out to my dude Rodney. That's the big bro. Also, again, shout out to my dudes, my big bros, C. Micah and Robert Dean. Erica Mason is a very dope MC and a real dope artist in general. But for those who have followed her. Are still following her. Notice that she is um, challenging. I won't even say challenging. I'm gonna get straight to the point. She's bi. Or I will even. Or she's curious about whether what her uh, how or curious on how to embrace her sexuality. And I don't want to call out and making like false accusations and, and stuff like that but if you have talent notice that she was all gospel so now her music is kind of dark and it's kind of hard to 100% put a finger on it but one thing for sure she definitely is by curious and, and it's, and it's kind of obvious that the award show doesn't do much of do much of research 
Because nowadays, we're not even, it's not even about if you straight or early gay in the gospel community. Because we got a long history when it comes to the, this strange relationship between homosexuality and the church. But that's not what I'm finna uh, talk about. That's not what I'm going to come, that's not why I'm bringing this video up. But one thing I will say about this whole thing about the ministry versus industry. Yeah, it was kind of jacked up that the Stella Awards did not acknowledge LaShawn uh, Pays. Or her sister. Now, it's hard for me to pronounce her name, so please forgive me. But these two individuals played a strong part in gospel, in, in gospel music. They were part of the uh, the anointed Pace sisters, and yet they couldn't even get much of uh, of acknowledgement. There's nobody. You telling me they didn't have nobody to pay tribute to Lashawn Pace? Are you kidding me? But here's my thing: the writing's been on the wall, but it wasn't written of the day this year. The writing been on the wall when the Stellar Award decided to bring Destiny's Child in to open up for their show. The writing's been on the wall when they decided to put Snoop Dogg to perform in the Stellar Awards. The writing's been on the wall when uh <laughs> When 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 Tasha Cobb decided to do a song with Nicki Minaj and have Nicki do the worst verse she ever written, uh, spit on the song, cause it had nothing to do with the song. Have nothing to do with the song. The writing's been on the wall, but for some reason, according to Ernest Pugh, the writing was on the wall when the Stella Awards decided to bring Christian hip hop in. And then, in some shape or form, take shots at Christian hip hop. Now he may he may say that he that wasn't his uh, intention. And to some degree, I, I understand where he's coming from. It's like it's bad enough for you know the gospel industry to try to be related to the youth. That they'll do stuff like have Erica Campbell rap. I still don't like that song, I Love God. I still don't like that song with Tasha Cobb and Nicki Minaj. I still don't like the idea that Snoop Dogg put out a gospel album and ain't nothing about that album deals with the gospel. It only deals with the church sound and what the church will allow, especially within the black church. It's ridiculous. But yet... Everybody want to. Everybody in the church want to use that whole. Well, God can use a donkey. Well, if God can use a donkey, He can use this person or that person. No. Do y'all know what the whole purpose of God using a donkey? Like many y'all keep. Maybe some of y'all need to admit that y'all fell asleep on Sunday school, and some of y'all probably need to admit that y'all wasn't really paying attention on Bible study. But the whole purpose of God using a donkey was to correct somebody was to check somebody but nobody want to pay attention to that part and one thing I will say as Christians we we, 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 we somehow do a, a, a terrible job um, doing Bible reference to justify stupidity let's admit that we justify stupidity and you by using Bible reference. And it's embarrassing to, embarrassing to do that and claim to be children of God. Yeah, I said it. It's embarrassing. So the writing's been on the wall, as far as I'm concerned. It ain't been on the wall this year. It's been on the wall a long time ago. Because Remember, gospel gospel music and the, the gospel music industry 
have yet to celebrate Christian hip hop. They may tolerate it, but they don't celebrate it. They don't celebrate it at all. They don't, they don't, they, they only won't focus on one person. And that's Lecrae. And whatever Lecrae is doing is what Christian hip hop is doing. According to the gospel music industry. For crying out loud. Folks consider Kurt Franklin the godfather of CHH, but yet he only, throughout his whole career, gospel gangster, the truth, and Christian Gray. There are three artists that I, three rappers I mentioned, or three artists I mentioned that's within the CHH. We talking about the the the, the pioneers of this thing. How in the world he's the godfather of this, but he does no type of support for Christian hip hop. Russell, Russell Simmons is considered the godfather of hip hop and he does more and then some. But yet Kurt Franklin is the Christian, uh, the godfather of Christian hip hop. Please make sense of that. Please make it make sense. Overall, the problem is that this whole thing about industry versus ministry is industry artists trying to display what ministry is. If that was really the case, then some of these gospel artists needs to stop trying to be all industry with their stuff and focus on ministry. But they're not going to do that. Why? Because truth be told, if they do ministry, it is gonna mean it ain't gonna it ain't gonna give them the same result as if it was industry. And many people keep saying that the industry is evil. So if it's evil on the secular realm, what makes you think it's 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 not evil on the gospel realm? It don't make sense, y'all. And and if it makes sense to you, please break it down for me, cause I can I I can be wrong. I could be wrong. But you know what? That's just me. If you like what you heard, there's a like button. Dislike what you heard, dislike. Comment, give me your two cents. And you can disagree, but don't be disrespectful. Subscribe, share this video. Let's continue this conversation. Until then, it's your boy P-Lot, a.k.a. The Brickslinger. And as always, continue to sharpen one another. Support the kingdom. Take care and God bless. Laborers.